Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm out here searching. This is a Saturday morning and I'm out here searching at the yard sales and I found a, store, a stamp collection that I think is really going to be a, a whiz bang. The lady was telling me that she had had it since she was like in her early, early uh, teens and she was in her 70s and it's just been sitting in the box all these years. So I got a stamp collection. I also got the books that came with it. I mean, it's pretty impressive. We'll see how this works out. But uh, the ladies were really nice. They were sweet. And uh, I gotta say, I was real happy with everything that I, I got from them just now. Just a little treasure hunting. You know, not much. I spent maybe five minutes there and found this treasure collection. I got it for 10 bucks. You know, I, I didn't argue with her. She was an old sweet lady. And um, so I'm gonna kind of go through it and see what's see if there's any treasure in there. It might be something worth some big bucks. A lot of the stamps are still hadn't even been used, and um, every one of them are unique. And she said every one of them are 50 to 70 years old, and she got them as a gift <clears throat> in the 50s. So we'll see. Alrighty, keep an eye on the channel. I'm gonna update it. I'll show you what I find. Alright, so I'm just now kind of breaking open the the stamps. That I just got, which is kind of cool. Check this out, guys. This is a much better visual on this. this stuff you can tell these books are ancient. Let's see, look at this here. Hmm. I don't know anything about stamps, guys. I'm gonna have to do some research. There's, there's stamps everywhere. A couple of these things. Ten cents, three cents. I mean. Today's like 55 cents or something like that. Look at that. Just a bunch of cool stamps in my house. There's like a little treasure right there. Look at this. If anybody knows of what the value possibly could be of these, look at this. Oh man, this is just killer. Hmm. So a little time, a little effort's been involved in here. Look at this. It just keeps getting better. More treasure as I keep spinning. Do the next one. Continuing through here. This is Japan. I don't know what date that says. 19. Looks like it's little the letters. It's really missing one of the numbers. It's just incredible. Just getting back to the stamp collection here. Also, in this stamp collection that I bought came this book as well, which is actually really cool. It's pretty much mint. It does have a couple of stamps in it. Uh, probably a three or four, actually, that I, that I sifted through out of all these um, pages that are in here. So not many stamps in there, but there are some. Um, and look at this box. It was like a cigar box that I got that has stamps. I mean, this is just a straight-up treasure here, guys. I mean, look at this. Just a ton of stuff in here. Um, sort of organized on clips. There's some Queen Elizabeth stamps in that, in that folder. I don't know if that means that it's worth something, but I found some dates that were from the 40s, uh, 43, 47. Here's a little box full of stamps. I mean, just straight up, there's something in here that is treasure. I mean, look at this. Just really cool, really cool stamp collection here, guys, that I totally just scored on. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna pop this up on eBay. 
after I do a little bit more research on some of these stamps and um, see what I can get. Guys, so this just goes to show you that, you know, I maybe spent 15 minutes at this yard sale and I scored on that stamp collection. It's just incredible what's going on here. Uh, I don't know if I'm just getting a better eye or if I'm just catching the right spots. Most likely it's just catching the right spots. There's just so much to learn about all this different uh, small things that could really, you know, this could this stamp collection can complete several people's collection. And uh, so I'm going to pop it up online and, like I said, do some more research and see if I can't find that, you know, something in here might be worth some mega bucks. And so it's worth my time. And I really enjoy it as well, as a matter of fact, because I'm learning about all these different things that I'm, that I'm studying. Uh, like I had I bought that Versace shirt last week, last on last Saturday, and I'm, it's going to sell. And it's, it's going to sell pro probably around two hundred fifty to three hundred fifty dollars. So, and I paid one dollar for that puppy. So we'll see. Uh, the auction, auction ends, I think, either tomorrow or the next day. I'm trying to remember, but uh, I'll let you know what it sold for as well. I'll show you a screenshot. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, but you know, like I said, you know, I'm out here just looking for treasure, just for the pure fun of it, and you know. Keep looking, guys. Look for stuff that's old and uh, try to get stories behind it if you can from the people that you're buying it from at these yard sales. And just, you know, just be diligent. Be patient. Don't buy every little thing. Try to do some research on eBay app and stuff as you're buying it. It's worked out for me. And, uh, man, I'm telling you what, I'm so happy. I'm making, I'm literally making like, you know, $1,500 to $2,500 extra a month in my pocket from just doing these small little yard sales and storage auctions and the metal detecting hasn't really come across that kind of money but uh, but every time i go i do find money weirdly enough it's kind of it's kind of funny but it's just pocket change you know but it's still fun you know because you'll find silver sometimes which is really cool all right guys so that was the treasure that i found earlier today and so uh take a look tell me what you think if anybody's a, a stamp collector or super knowledgeable about them please let me know what what i have here and uh again this is joel for in it for the treasure soon we'll do another metal detecting video as well 